Hey, what's up everybody? Coach Liz Bona here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a few ways how you can incorporate Halloween into your phys ed classes. But we're gonna start with a classroom setting. So if you're a classroom teacher and you wanna play a game in the classroom, I've got something for you. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna show a team aspect that you can do with Halloween while you're getting a good workout. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so in the classroom, picture your students broken up into two teams, sitting at their desks, and one at a time on your start, they've got to run up to the whiteboard. The first person's got to run up and put H. They go back, sit. As soon as they sit, the next person gets out of their desk, runs up and puts A, and then it just keeps going like that until you finish the word. Of course, you... Okay, so in the classroom, you could do a variation where instead of writing the word, maybe they're uh, drawing a picture of a ghost or they're drawing a witch and they can just break it down. First person's got to put a hat, next person's got to put the head and the nose and see who can uh, make the best witch and who can finish first. All right, well, you get the idea. You can see I'm. Um, not an art teacher. Okay, so I have three ways that you can incorporate into a team setting, all right? And some of it you can do in the classroom, but all of it you'll be able to do in the gym. Okay, so you can either do this in a timed fashion and see how quickly you can step on uh, the letters uh, to spell out which, or you can do it from uh, a team perspective and just have it like a relay and one at a time, they have to step on each letter, go back and tag their teammate. W-I-T-C-H. Now, I did this in a, you know, a real small condensed version for the video, but you can spread it out as much as you want in the classroom or as much as you want in the gym. Kind of similar to my ABC123 video that I made a long time ago. G. H. O. S. T. Ghost. Okay, so the last game I have for you that you could do in the classroom, but it's definitely better for the gym. Um, I play this, you know, uh, in different ways. I call it hectic, but you can incorporate it with Halloween. You can use paper, you can use poly spots, you can use bean bags. Okay, so I'm using bean bags here, and it's a real scaled down version. So picture these four hula, hoop, four hula hoops in each corner, one in each corner of your gym, okay? And you can also put a bunch in the center and they'll have all different letters on them. And we'll see who can, you know, spell a word first or who can um, spell the longest word, however you want to do it. And basically, the other three teams can steal one beanbag at a time from your hoop. They can steal from the center and each beanbag will have letters on them. So if you can say, spell pumpkin first before the other teams, then you guys would win the game. You could start a brand new round. All right, hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you stick around for the trivia.